Hey guys, today we're going to be adding the Round Lake and District colors to your Illustrator Swatch library. So the first thing you need to do is open up Illustrator. And in my case, you can see the cheat sheet native file is already here on my desktop. Now the first thing I've done is uh, one already for you and you can see it's a new swatch. It appears at the top of my swatch library and it's called District Blue. So anytime that I'm making a district item for someone such as a notepad or a business card or a promotional poster or an open or close sign, I'm going to be using that swatch right there so that I know that my blue is the exact Pantone match as the color profile for the district. So the first thing that you need to do is open up your swatch libraries and that's going to be found here at the right side of your tool panel and everyone's tool panel is set up a little bit differently but mine is under swatches. If you don't see it go ahead and go to window, drop down menu, go all the way down to swatches and it will appear. Then you want to go to the bottom of that options panel and click on new swatch. You can see the tag is going to pop up right away as your mouse hovers over. So new color group, swatch options, show swatch kinds. So right here on the far right is new swatch. So click on that and then you want to enter your name. And the first name that you're going to do is the district blue. So go district blue. Now in my case I already did it so I'm going to jump right to yellow and it's going to be a process color global CMYK. It should default to those settings if it's in grayscale or RGB or some other um, different color profile just make sure that it's on CMYK. And then for C which stands for cyan it's 94 and then you can hit tab and it will jump down to the next one. M magenta is 87, Y yellow is 14 and K black is three. And then the check mark for add to my library should be selected and then select okay. And right there it will pop up. Now I did the blue. <laughs> so I'm gonna double click on that and my options panel will pop up again and I'm gonna change this to the yellow profile. So in that case, it would be 13, 13, 99, and zero. Click on add to my library, say okay. And there you have your district yellow and blue. Now in this case, you can see the yellow is like a slightly green tint, but it's not necessarily gonna print that way. So don't trust the color that's on the screen because these profiles were chosen because of the way that they print not necessarily the way that they appear on the screen. So you can see I've done district blue and district yellow. Now when you want to move on to the high school, you do exactly the same thing. So new swatch, high school blue, process color global, CMYK. So the first one is going to be 100, 89, Yellow is 34 and 25. Say OK. There's high school blue. And you can see that they're different. The high school blue is definitely more of a navy, and the district blue is more of a cobalt blue. It's a little bit lighter, more white in it. So there you have it. And then your last one is that it says um, maize, but it's gold. And that's it. Once you have those colors added, you'll be good. And the reason that we're doing this is because you want these on hand at all times when you're working so that you can just select the apple with that swatch and you're not going. If you double click over here, you can see this. Say, oh yeah, it's high school. I know it's yellow. I think it's this yellow. Like that's a guess. It needs to be the exact CMYK match. So don't do it that way. Just make sure you have in your swatches library these here at all times. All right, that's it, guys.